Hey, you guys. Um, I thought I might just come on with you and share my holiday, um, Halloween, fall decor um, with you all because this is like the first time I decided to decorate since I started home ownership. Um, this is not the first home I've owned, but this is the first time I've decorated. Um, I decided to decorate inside because I spend most of the time in the house. You know, I travel a lot, but at the end of the day, I'm like, I want my stuff to last. I want my, you know, the inside to, you know, change with the seasons. And I thought that'd be more appropriate. Um, I do have a few things outside, but just not very much. As I'm, so I'm not even going to go It's actually night. I was going to do this earlier, but <clears throat> unfortunately, the camera is not operative. So without further ado, I'm going to share a few of my um, choices. And if I can remember where it was or what I did, I'll be sure to give that tip or information as well as far as what I decided to do with my decor choices. Um, this will be for the Halloween season and then or Halloween holiday and then most of it will stay up and then I'll kind of like switch out a few things as far as the Halloween decor is concerned. Um, I do have a few other fall pieces I have not took, taken out yet. I might do unboxing with you all tonight, but enjoy and thank you for joining me. And also remember to subscribe, share, comment, like, um, all the above so that we can continue to grow our subscribers and grow our family. Thank you for joining me once again. Okay, here we're starting with the front door, just something simple. Um, this I chose to do the cross because I didn't want to make it too Halloween-y, um, of course, but I don't really do, you know, the Halloween, but I do like a little bit, you know, a little mixture. Some people do like the scary um, haunted house themes and stuff like that, but that, you know, that's just not me. So I did some, some something simple, just a cross on the door. I uh, came across here and I did the fall vines with uh, the lanterns and the little flame LED here. If you can see it, that's just a candelabra base bulb. Those are actually lamps. Um, I decided to um, just use the flame bulbs for the Halloween season, maybe until even after Christmas because they're more festive for me and then I'll change back to a regular um, bulb. Um, here we have the um, glass jars. They're actually candy dishes of some sort, I guess, but I just decided to put the string lights inside. This one's actually black. I don't know if you can tell, but it says this right here. I found this at Dollar General for five bucks. And then the lights came as, I think I got the lights for five bucks, maybe. Uh, last year sometime we were on clearance maybe maybe two dollars and fifty cents I'm not sure I might have got them on clearance um, and this is the same thing uh, just a purple color you can see the lights a little bit better and I decided to just put the lights in them just to make them more you know decorative or whatever they do have an on and off switch these actually come on a timer those two are actually on timers um, because these are not they're remote ready but I don't have a remote control for them so I just decided to do the timer function and um, they'll come on every uh, 20 hours for four hours um, every day for the day that you set them. Um, this is the fireplace that I installed uh, a couple, about maybe a month ago. No, I lied. Maybe three weeks ago. Um, you can change the color. So I decided to use those two colors. I don't know if you can tell it's purple and just orange flames. I thought that would be perfect for this area. So this is what it looks like far out. <clears throat> okay and then we come around here to the centerpiece for my table here we got the farm um, container and then we just got a few fall pieces here just scattered decoration and a wine bottle of some sort and the uh, LED, LED lights inside this is actually one of two that I got just for this <clears throat> set and that's how that looks it's pretty nice. All right, then we come over here and I did the vines around the chandelier um, and they actually have lights on them so you can actually look and see when you turn the lights off, the lights are kind of festive. And it makes it nice and warm and um, this actually came off Amazon for like 10 bucks. Um, these bottles, I think, I didn't mention the price on that one. $5 and then this was $5 and the little scatter decoration came from Amazon for $5. These came from Dollar General. Um, most of everything in here came from Dollar General. I actually saw them one day and I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna decorate or not. 
And then I thought about it. I was like, oh, I got bored. So went to Dollar General and just started with everything. Um, these little containers are um, hurricane vases on here came from Hobby Lobby. They were like five bucks a piece. Um, normally like $10 a piece if I'm not mistaken, but I got them and they were actually smaller than what I thought they were going to be. I thought they were going to be uh, big like the like the two I had up here in my previous video, um, but they weren't. So I just decided to split the deck four in them and they turned out pretty nice. Um, the reason why I decided to keep them was because when I switch over to my fall decoration for Thanksgiving, of course, I'm going to take down the, Hall um, the Halloween decoration and just, you know, leave that. So it makes a nice filler. And if you want to see up close, these are actually two bags of um, scatter decorations that I bought from Amazon. They were like, I think less than 20 bucks for, for both bags. So that wasn't bad. Um, the witches came from Dollar General along with the bottles as well. The bottle um, was $5, of course, and the witches were $10 each. And they actually are so cute. That's what actually made me want to even decorate because I saw them and I was like, I got to use those because I thought they were so nice. Um, the reef um, I have up here that came from Dollar General as well. I think that was 15 bucks, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so I'm going to leave that up for fall. But this is the uh, view of this out close. I'm sorry, um, far back. But um, this is actually an entertainment center that I actually use as a buffet or whatever have you. So on to the kitchen. Uh, I only decided to decorate the living room and the kitchen um, simply because these are the two rooms that aren't really used like that. And these are the two rooms that you see when you enter the home. And I wanted the living room just to stay as it is or whatever have you. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do anything in here for Christmas. If I put anything up, it might be a Christmas tree. I don't even know if I'm going to do a Christmas tree this year. I'm not really into Christmas trees. They take too much time. So anyway, um, this right here, I think is a cookie jar. I'm not sure, but it was the nicest little thing I could have ever put my hands on as far as that. Um, I bought it because it was a truck and the little thing beside it. Both of those came from Dollar General. I think all together that whole set is maybe like 15, 20 bucks. Um, up here, I just did the fall vine. Um, it's just looped it around the dishes or whatever. Just to make it a little, you know, festive. <clears throat> and over here, we did the cloths just over the counter. Um, over the cabinet, I'm sorry. Um, I think I got those from, I think Dollar General, I'm not sure. But yeah, just something to decorate. I normally, I grew up with my grandmother. My grandmother used to do this all the time. She had, you know, over her stove, she had um, towels over the door. I don't know why, but she did it for years. So it's just something that kind of reminds me of her and just kind of, you know, makes it feel more at home. So I've, I've always done that. So I'll probably switch them to something else regular, you know, after the holidays, but you know, she's still living or whatever, but I just wanted to do that because it kind of reminds me of her. Um, this right here is the window. Well, I don't have a, a curtain up because I wanted to keep it more open. And during the day, it makes it so much brighter and open in here. Um, I decided to do the bottles and put the LED lights across. I didn't do it individually because it would take more lights and more batteries, of course, and it'd be too time consuming. But these lights are actually remote controlled and you can actually change the pattern sequence and actually put them on a timer along with that one. They are actually operate on the same controller. So that makes it um, even better. So for Thanksgiving, I'm going to remove the bottles and replace them with candles. And then we're going to leave the pumpkins up. And then we have the vine up here, of course, that stretches across the light to make that look a, a bit festive there. And this is how that looks. So I would say all in all that just this setup as you see it, came to be maybe um 150 200 bucks with well no just to set up maybe 150 just this setup as you see it um but everything all together for fall halloween or whatever i would say about 200 bucks because i do have some things in this box that came today i ordered from the lakeside collection and then we do have some things around here in this room that i have not opened well i have opened but it's going to be fall some fall things are in here i'm not sure where they are right now so yeah i have some th fall things in <sighs> I think, no, it's not that box. Oh, it's in that box, but 
later for that. I'm gonna do another video, hopefully for uh, Thanksgiving, and you can see what I switched out. Um, so, you know, just, I, I love this season because for one, my birthday is in November, but Halloween and Thanksgiving is, I, I feel, um, a good holiday to decorate for simply because you can mix and match decorations if you choose to. Some people just do, like I said, Halloween and the blood and the gore everywhere, but that's just not me. I think it's a nice, simple, you know, touch to have um, in here as far as that's concerned, just to make it uh, more festive and more relaxing and help you enjoy the holidays. So, and there we have it. Yeah, I do appreciate you all. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more content. Remind you guys that um, not every video will be for everybody. I do apologize about that. But I, I just like a different, you know, variety of things. I don't want to be just a channel that has the same thing over and over and over again. So it's a platform to express myself, express situations, talk about things, talk about life, and share just moments with you all. Again, thank you for joining me. You name it by Brilliance in Motion. And see you guys next time.